Substitution reactions are best described as an exchange of the functional groups. So we're going to go with C. Combustion of alcohols is going to give me carbon dioxide and water, as all combustion reactions do. Name the product of this substitution reaction. So the OH is going to exchange with the BR, and the BR is going to go over there. So water is one of my products. And I'm going to land up with, there's a uh, prop chain, and on the second carbon, there's a methyl group. The methyl group couldn't be anywhere else, because if it was on a, another carbon, it would have to be a butyl group, at least a butane chain. But the bromine is on the second carbon, so it is 2-bromo, 2 2-methyl. Two um, propane, and so that's a little bit of a mess over there. It's 2-bromo and 2-methyl, and you didn't even have to give them the, the address of the methyl because it couldn't be anywhere else. So it's 2-bromo methyl propane, and then water is the other product. And then when we flick it the other way around, what have we got? We have got some. The bromine goes and takes over over there, so potassium bromide must be one of my um, products, potassium bromide, potassium bromide, and then we have got, again, this three carbon chain, and we have got an alcohol on it, so it's propan 2 ol with the methyl hanging off it, so A is your correct answer. Write a balanced chemical equation if propene, and propene, it's going to be C3, and H, it's N2N, so it's H6. So the first thing is to find propene, and those two have just been eliminated. Then this one over here is not balanced, and hopefully the one over here is balanced. Let's just try and take a look at that a bit. So we've got um, six carbons on the left and six carbons on the right. We have got six, 12 hydrogens on the left, 12 hydrogens on the right. We've got 18 oxygens on the left and 6 plus 12 which is 18 on the right so that does balance write a chemical balanced equation for the combustion of ethyne ethyne is C 2 H 2 N minus 2 so it's going to be H 4 minus 2 2 so the, the only ones that qualify are B and D so let's take a look at the balancing if I take a look at D over there, it looks like no effort has been made at balancing at all. So I'm going to try and take a look at reaction A. And that is going to be four carbons, four carbons, um, four hydrogens, four hydrogens, ten oxygens over there, and two plus eight, ten oxygens over there. Then let's take a look at the next one. Write a balanced chemical equation for the combustion of hexane. Hexane is going to be C6H2N, so it's 12, plus 2, so it's 14, which means that we eliminate those two over there. Um, and then if we just take a look here, the last one, there seems to have been no effort made at balancing over here at all. So let's take a look at the first one and see if it looks like it's balanced. And we have got... 12 carbons, 12 carbons, 28 hydrogens, 28 hydrogens, 38 oxygens, and 24 plus 14, 38 oxygens on that side over there. Now if we take a look at, write a balanced chemical equation for the combustion of butanol, well first we need to have butanol, and butanol is going to be, um, it'll look like this. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9, sorry. So it's going to be C4H9 and then the OH group hanging off the end. So that doesn't work. That doesn't work. And only the inner and outer work again. So let's just take a look. 
looks like, like once again no effort's been made on that one so let's see what the next one what the first one looks like and we have got four carbons and four carbons we have got nine hydrogens ten hydrogens and ten hydrogens and we have got 12 um, oxygens over there and here we've got eight oxygens and here we've got five oxygens which means that we have all together got here we have 12 and over here don't forget we've got one so that's 13 oxygens and over here there's 13 oxygens so A is your correct answer.